Hello YouTube, this is Zach Turner, back here again on Chart Are You Geo's channel. Uh, I actually got first place today at my uh, win -a mat at the Detroit Regional. Uh, didn't do too well in the main event, so unfortunately I uh, dropped out not finishing the event, but I was able to go to uh, win -a mat and I was able to redeem myself a little bit. Uh, I did that today with branded tier elements. So we're going to get right into the deck profile. Uh, starting off with, you know, obviously our tier names. We are on maxing out on the, all the names that we can play. So three Rhino, three Shiren, three Murui, and three Havanus. Um, Havanus is your hand trap for the deck. Uh, she's also really good to just send off Rhino Heart as kind of your first tier. Because uh, a lot of times on your turn one, you're never going to resolve her. Uh, hand effect. Murley's uh, a decent normal summon, just mills three. Uh, Shiren is probably your best extender by far. Um, this card really brings the deck together. I would almost argue Shiren is better than Rhino Heart, but uh, Rhino Heart is a one card Kit Kalos and can really just start your plays. Uh, I'm not going to really explain what a lot of the tiers do because everyone's seen this deck, so not really much to explain. Uh, we are on three king of the swamps and <clears throat> i was originally testing the deck with only two kings but uh, i ended up cutting triple tactics talents right before the event and uh, i had three extra slots so in the place of the uh tactics i ended up playing uh, another king as one of my spots um it does kind of suck to see multiples of this um especially in your opening hand, uh, going first or second, but usually if you open another tier name with two of this, you can still play through a lot of things. Uh, this card is just really good, though, to make lots of different uh, names in your extra deck. can make uh, Kit Kalos, can make Kaleido Heart, can also make Millennium Eyes. Uh, I actually don't think I did that once today, though, but in theory it is there. And the last two monsters of the deck are the one Shadal Beast and the one Fallen of Aldaz. Uh, Shadal Beast is really good in this deck because it just gives you a draw. And if you've already opened enough um, tier combo with your Branded Fusion, you can actually just send the Beast and now you have it in Graveyard. So it is searchable in a way. And then the one Aldaz, obviously, for our Branded Engine. Uh, playing a smaller Branded Engine, I didn't want to go very deep on the lubers just because i didn't want ash to be a super live card against my deck uh as well we are not playing hand traps so we are playing the board breakers uh three super poly and three dark ruler now super poly in theory is a very good card this format and is really good against uh things like tier element or things like sprite but unfortunately, uh, I only actually saw one Sprite player today, uh, and I didn't end up drawing Super Poly against him. Uh, the rest of the time, it was just really, really meh against a lot of the other decks. Uh, my losses today were actually to uh, uh, lost to Mathmech, I lost to Altergeist, and then I lost to uh, Sprite, unfortunately, is kind of what knocked me out. But... Uh, this card still is just really good, helps you push for damage, helps you uh, play around certain things. And then Dark Ruler is just kind of a staple of this format. I don't think any deck should be going into a major event without main decking this card. Uh, we are playing the greatest field spell ever printed. Uh, I truly do believe that this is probably the greatest field spell we've ever seen. Uh, on activation, just adds a tier. Uh, gives all of your tiers and fusions 500 attack, so it really helps you just push for a lethal very easily with this deck. Uh, and also, if a tier is shuffled back, you just pop a card for free. So you can pop things like uh, Skill Drain, you can pop uh, Floodgates on your opponent's side of the board. Just really good card overall, going first or second. And we are playing the Terraforming to help search for it as well. Uh, Spell-wise, we are on the Triple Branded Fusion, uh, two Poly, and the one Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion is not necessarily a Saki one of uh, in this version of the deck because it is searchable with things like the uh, Alba Lenitus, but, you know, just seeing it 
It's really good. Just one card kick Kalos for free. Uh, two poly comes up uh, to make things like Chimera or just to help you extend through hand traps. And then we all know what branded fusion does. Just makes Chimera. Or, uh, sorry, makes uh, the Mirror Jade. Uh, we are on two desires. I thought this was going to be a little bit of a uh, conflict with a branded engine, but I was doing a little bit more testing and honestly, um, you almost always just hold your desires until the end of your turn, just to kind of draw you into follow up or potentially just more ways to stop your opponent, like one of the traps. Uh, so a lot of times, you know, if you open desires plus your branded fusion, you know, branded fusion is just your ash bait and then you can desires and gain back your advantage. So I actually really, I actually really like this today. Uh, would play three, but unfortunately we can't. Uh, and then the last uh, three spells of the deck are the one of's. Uh, one row to help search Rhino, one Foolish to start uh, combos, and then one called by Konami. Please ban this card. This card is ridiculous. Uh, and then I am only playing one of each of the trap. Uh, honestly, um, moving forward, I almost just want to cut the meta noise for another Ciliac. Uh This card, I almost always search first as just this card's insane just uh an imperm that is permanent and also can uh send your tier monsters on board to trigger their effects is really good with the uh kaleido heart and also kick kalos uh just free being able to trigger their effects is really good uh meta noise is okay like i said uh you're almost always searching ciliac first the only time i ever search uh, meta noise first is if I know I am specifically playing against uh, decks like Sprite. Uh, this card is just really good, but uh, like I said, uh, this card will probably eventually be cut. A lot of Sprite players are eventually are uh, kind of starting to play around it. So uh, that is the main deck. It is 40 card main deck. I wanted to go into an event with 40 cards. Didn't want to try and play anything over that. Uh, onto the extra. Two Kikalos is kind of mandatory in the deck, I think, as well as the one Kaleido Heart. Almost any version you play, uh, you have to play the two and the one. I've seen some decks maybe trying to, but I think that's kind of just an old trend. Uh, the We are playing the one Lubellion, the one Avalanitus, and the one Mirror Jade. Uh, you don't really need to play any more for this engine. Uh, this engine is very recyclable with things... Uh, in the extra deck, like the tier monsters and also Draco Stapelia. So, uh, and more times than not, you're never resolving more than one Mirror Jade. You just Mirror Jade, send the Alba, grab the Instant Fusion, and just usually just OTK the next turn. Uh, and then Lubellion's decent. Like I said, makes Mirror Jade. Uh, we are on two Draco Stapelia. I was originally trying this list with one, and I realized that, uh, Two Draco Stapelia is kind of necessary in a lot of the tier decks. Uh, you can't really play it in things like the Danger tier list or uh, the Punk tier list, but I think that's what kind of gives this deck a slight edge over those two variants, uh, is just being able to loop this card with itself all the time, uh, and also just being able to put uh, important extra deck monsters back, like Kit Kalos or even like your Mirror Jade or Abelenesis, if you need to. Uh, this card is just insane. That's just a free negate uh, every turn. Super poly targets. We are on the one Garura and the one Mud Dragon. Uh, I actually hard make this quite a bit. Uh, this is It is a way to um, put back your Redoer. And being able, like I said, to help you recycle your materials. This deck does an amazing job with uh, recycling its resources. Uh, you almost never run out of resources unless you get very heavily interrupted uh we are on the one millennium eyes um can make it with instant fusion can also make it with uh king of the swamp i actually actually don't think i ever summoned this card today but uh in testing it comes up quite a bit so i still wouldn't cut it uh we are on the one Gu guardian chimera for um the polys uh this card is just absolutely ridiculous uh, really, it helps you go second, uh, helps you break boards, helps you set up for OTKs, uh, gets you resources back in hand. 
and also when you fuse for it, you have tear triggers as well. So this card is just an absolute house. Uh, and then the last fusion monster deck is the one window. I was originally testing the deck without the window, but um, I think in this format, I think window is just too good of a card to just not play. Uh, against quite a few of my matchups, I just I make this on my opponent's turn after they've uh, tried to bait all my interruptions, and I just laugh and sit on this. Usually they can't play around it. Uh, and then the non-fusions, we are in the one redoer and the one charmer. I was originally playing the dweller um, over the uh, window, but like I said, um, window I feel like comes up quite a bit more just being able to lock your opponent out of the deck. Uh, especially against like tier, if you're making if you're making window going first, like I don't think uh, you're gonna lose unless they open dark ruler or, like super poly against you. But this card is just really good. I actually don't think I made this much today either, which kind of sucks because card is very good. One of the few rank fours that can detach for effect. Uh, tokens. Uh, more tokens. Don't know why I have so many in this deck. Uh, side deck. We are on the three Lava Golem. Um, I was taking more of a board breaker approach to this uh, event. Uh, I don't think hand traps are very good in this format at all. Um, I think board breakers are really the way to go. So kind of just maxing out on the board breakers that we can play. Uh, so we are on the three lava golems. We are also on the evenly matches. Uh, you already you already have things like dark ruler and super poly in the main. So usually a lot of times you can side in these six cards to help you break the board even more or change out some of those board breakers that always are uh, don't always help you um, in certain matchups. Uh, this card is just really good overall. Uh, this card's good against things like sprite or just rogue decks in general. Uh, I did see a couple Adamancipator players today, so uh, don't know what's going on but with that deck. But uh, Then we are on the one Cyclone, the one Duster, and the one Red Reboot as well, just for more board breakers. Uh, generally, these six can be sided in for back row matchups. Uh, these six can be sided in for combo. Uh, and then you kind of can just mix match what you need for specific matchups. Uh, one of my uh, one of my wins today in the main event was actually against Tri Brigade, so I was able to just kind of just side in uh, these five specifically, and he just really wasn't able to uh, recover once I dusted him. So, uh, and then the last six slots of the deck are the going first cards. Uh, we are on the triple Solemn Judgment. Just a really good card going first. Plays around evenly. Um, also can stop really important normal summons. Gets monsters off the board against Sprite. Uh, and then we are on kind of my favorite card in the side deck from uh, this event was the three summon limits. Uh, didn't really see it in the main event, but um, when I saw it in my um, tier mirror in my last round of Winamat, uh, I ended with the summon limit, my opponent summoned two monsters, and I just flipped this card up, and he just had no way to play around it. Uh, once you have an established board, summon limit really doesn't hurt you in any way, because you can really manage your resources a lot more. Uh, so if you have things like a Rhino Heart to just uh, get you into a bigger fusion, you really don't care too much about summon limit. But if you really need to get around it, also Pearl Arena can just pop it, so... Uh, this is probably my favorite card. Like I said, this is just probably one of the best floodgates going first right now. A lot of decks are uh, putting up a lot of monsters. So this card just is an absolute house. And then Judgment is Judgment. But that is my profile. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, I didn't do super well in the main event. But I was able to... Uh, Kind of recover a little bit and i was able to take it home and i actually was able to win this beautiful map but that is it for the deck profile uh if you like this video be sure to uh, like comment subscribe uh, i am testing other things i do want to test the danger version of the tier deck but uh looking forward to reading comments and 
uh, just hearing your guys' feedback. So peace out, you two.